have it pointed at your mouth. Isn't this so professional? It is. I know. <laughs> I feel so. I Michelle, you, you've really improved your mic. Uh, oh, thank you. Your mic etiquette. Not Jason. No. Well, he's very loud, though. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Ready to go, Star? Yep. Get off your phone. Oh, um, sorry. <laughs> Microphone etiquette. Yeah, um, it is. So, yeah. Last episode did pretty good. Not as good as the one before. Well, it was... Last yesterday was kind of a last week was kind of a specialty episode. Crazy, yeah. But that was what I mean. I'm gonna speak about myself, but that's what I wanted. I wanted it. We, to kind we of can be, talk about it more once the episode starts. Right. Yeah. I did you it. listen to it? I did. Okay. I laughed. Yeah. Are <laughs> you right, ready? Yeah. Are Jason. we doing the cold opening or? You ready? No. The last opening you did was awesome. Yeah. Well, I had it. I've, I've been recording for oh, a few good. minutes. Yeah. So I'll see if I can edit something. Okay. Together. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Middle Aging Podcast. We are back with episode nine, and another special guest is joining us. Woohoo! Yeah. Michelle, would you like to introduce her? Sure. So we have Jamie here today. Hello, Hi. Jamie. So Hi. Jamie works with me. She's worked with me for about a year. Yes. And I guess we've known each other two, and three a half? years. Yeah. yeah. Somewhere about that. So just a brief background. She worked at another hotel. Uh huh. That my company owned, and then which one? The Crown Plaza. Okay. I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't name places. Well, well, that's fine. I don't even. I don't know where it is. So Crown Plaza, great. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. I did it again. <laughs> so anyway, she was there, so we knew each other because we had the same roles, director of sales, and then they sold that, and she came over to work with me. Oh. She started early last March for about a week and a half. And then oh. we furloughed her. Congratulations. As well as my, myself. <laughs> yeah. And then she came back in October. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's just the two of you. Two of two of us. Yes. We did wow. get word we're getting somebody else back in May. Uh, Congratulations. Oh. Yeah, How my long wedding have they been person. Furloughed? What? They've been furloughed this whole time? Well, I think technically they were officially laid off. Oh. But so now they they're being collect brought unemployment, back. right? Yes. Yeah. Um they were furloughed for a while because the company was paying helping with insurance but then i think they laid them off oh okay so she's coming back but yeah so we've been pretty much the two of us for six months very nice yeah Yeah. it's been nice so honesty time (laughs) oh how is it working for michelle i love does he feel controlled (laughs) (laughs) you could see he wanted to ask that for many years (laughs) belittled (laughs) no (laughs) no okay you can speak honestly no 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 we can ask her the same thing that we asked your friend if she thinks Michelle is gay Do you when think she met Michelle him. is a lesbian. <laughs> no, it's a joke. <laughs> wow, we already have her speechless, folks. <laughs> no, I do not think that she's okay. gay. Okay, or thank lesbian. you. Actually, I am the not. same question was when did you think Jason was gay the first time you met him? That was the first. That was the question. You don't have That's to answer funny. that. But. No. So, so are you? So essentially, you're kind of you're her boss. Yes. Yes. Uh-oh. But it's kind of interesting because she was in my role at the other hotel. So oh. it's and we can ask her. That, that was one of the things I was going to ask. Like, did you have any trouble? Because I know you didn't really necessarily want to be in that role. Right. Right. So, okay. um, yeah. The so, sales manager role. Well, director, no, director of sales. sales. So you were director of sales. Yes. But oh, she okay. didn't really. I don't think she takes lead. Like she doesn't step into no. those positions. Like me, I'm I I like to be in charge of everyone. I'm gonna t- go ahead say what you're yeah. saying because I'm gonna segue with that. But go ahead. So yeah, so I didn't really want that role. Not to say that I didn't sort of like it when mm-hmm. I got it. Yeah. But um, it wasn't terrible that I had to give that up. I'm actually very comfortable mm-hmm. um, where I am, and I feel like she and I work well together. Like she and I think a lot alike, and then. Of course, I learn a lot just from listening to her from like the catering point of view or just a different perspective. Very nice. So I, I appreciate that because, you know, I mean, it's a brand new building well, three separate buildings. Of yeah. Course. So um, and I, you know, as a director of sales, I was very new in that role at, at the same time as her. But, yeah. you know, I think that even within that year that I 
it was no longer a director sale. She continued to grow. Uh-huh. Um, so anyway, the perspective is really good. Very cool. I find that, that you answered it that you are actually n- didn't want to be in that role uh, because similar, like in my, in my career, I've mm-hmm. been in banking for 14 years in June and you know, everyone's like, oh, when are you going to be a manager? Don't you want to be a manager? Don't you want to be a manager? And it's like, no, I have no need. I, I would be like, um, I mean, technically in a lot of ways, I already am like an assistant manager, yeah. but I would do that, but I don't want to run the ship. I, I agree. If I, I have had no to, need to yeah. run the ship. If somebody came to me and said, would you like to be the ADOS, if there is such a thing, exactly. you know, then that would be perfect uh-huh. because I feel like. I'm still not that person. I don't like to be the center of attention. I sort of like to mm-hmm. go under the radar, drift back like a thousand feet behind uh-huh. Michelle. Yeah. <laughs> um, she likes that too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, I make her walk behind me. Yeah. Don't, <laughs> don't stay in step. <laughs> no, I just, you know, it's just not me. I don't, I don't like. Um, it's like a lot of BS in a leadership role too. It is. And it I is don't... a lot of BS and it's needless crap that you have to talk about. You have to kiss do. a lot of booty you and do. I don't like to do that. And it was well, the usually. second time. Have you tried it? That... Well, <laughs> not since college, but go ahead. <laughs> you didn't go to college. Shut up, Chris. <laughs> he went to someone else's college. <laughs> um, they. This was the second time they had asked. The first time. I said no, mm-hmm. and then they got another director of sales who was, mm. anyway, <laughs> <laughs> she didn't last very long, and then after- She's dead? No. Oh, no. She's alive. Okay. <laughs> oh, she was let go. Okay, sorry, folks. She just left. She realized it wasn't the role for her. Mm-hmm. Got it. And um, then they asked me, and I was still like, no, and they're like, yeah, but you would do a great job, and we'll lead you, and we'll help you, and I'm like, yeah, but I know nothing about this. They're yeah. just like, yeah, but you do- do a great job selling. Yeah, and it's I'm totally like, different. It is. I'm like, all right. And you had some real whack-a-doodles. winners. Yeah, whack a doodles. Nice. Word. I mean, I had some crazy, but yeah, no, there was, was another. Level this there. was like, this could be made for a lifetime movie. Really, whack a doodle. We wow. would meet for lunch, and she would tell me things, and I'd be like. The fuck? That could also be the name of the movie, Whack a Doodle. Yeah. yeah. Like hashtag. I would watch that. Star in it. I would watch. Hashtag. You, you want to star in it? I'll in it. it. Okay. I'll definitely. Yeah. I'll play you. We'll gender swap. Perfect. I think that's awesome. Yeah. I feel let's like do it. We could do this. Yep. Let's take a role from a woman. She doesn't like to, to be man. the center of attention. I don't. So yeah. She'll direct it. You can <laughs> be the no, That'll be you. You'll stand there and be like, "You're not doing it right." And you know what? You could still be called Jamie because that could also be a man's name. That could also be a man's. Yes. All right. I love it. It was a little crazy. I find it, I thought it was interesting as she was saying how she's learned so much from Michelle. Yeah. And I don't think I've learned anything from Michelle. No, nothing recently. No. Okay. I mean, I've learned how to like wear a lot of floral, like a lot of flowers, (laughs) like flower. Wait, is that true? You wait, you're being serious? You've never learned anything from me? What have you taught me? Well, what do you mean by, well, first of all, let's just say something. From a professional standpoint, she's watching you in your job so there's yeah. things that she can glean yeah. by just watching you in life we're guys i don't know like i haven't learned you, anything what? from jason either okay yeah <laughs> what about well. how to be like a good older sibling um i Michael. mean i'm a better older sibling than you are mm. I don't know. christopher uh, <laughs> just joking you I only got one I yeah got chris one doesn't sibling. is not very good no you. but i'm saying am i a better older sibling or it's jason? not about being better you are <laughs> because she gives you money. That okay. is not true. So what? Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Wait, I don't. You think I'm just like handed him money? <laughs> Sometimes. Yes. When he was younger and he needed help. Michelle, hey, you, you used said to buy this me three pizzas. weeks ago that Christopher asked for anything. You would most likely no, but he doesn't ask me for money. Not but anymore. Would you give it to him? I mean, if he needed it, I wouldn't. I give you money and if you needed the, it. For the side point, we Jason? both. Jason, you've also given me stuff. I know. A lot of pizzas. Sorry, yeah, a lot oh, of pizzas. Good. I love it. No, a lot but, of pizzas. But you know, I'm sorry to change. No, go. My, I have an older sister as well. She's four and a half years older. And I feel like my sister would do the same thing. Like, not that we, my twin and I ask, but uh-huh. I feel like if there was any need from us and yeah. we directly went to her, she'd be like, whatever. Here. But this yeah. is what. Yeah. So, I don't know. I feel like that's a normal and my twin, he's five minutes older than me. He would oh. say he's just the older one. Oh, the older one. Um, but he, w- I think that he would be the same with her, not me. Uh-huh. Her. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, you've taught me um, how to how to wait. <laughs> no, I, I can't know what wait. I'm trying to say. I, I can't wait to hear this. How to like be um, how to sacrifice. Okay. For the the family, like yeah, I think you really do for the most part put everyone's needs before your own, and then you know complain right. about it. But he does you sacrifice do sacrifice a lot for the family. What? You do sacrifice a lot. She does. No, you. Me. Yeah. No, he doesn't do it, but he knows how to. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's what you said. You learned from her. Um, I don't think that's right. No, think, he does. I think. I think. I think you don't realize how much that. I'm going to just group us together. <laughs> I don't think you realize how much me and Michelle have sacrificed for all of you. Hmm. Uh, I mean, you you kind of lost count because that's the I way mean, it I'm is. I mean, I'm not on camera. No, no. <laughs> but for a very long time, a lot of money was spent <laughs> between the two of us for our family hmm. at certain times and everything like that. Just about footing yeah, the bill for not, stuff. That's not my fault. No, I, that sounds like a younger sibling response. Yeah, that, I'm not blaming <laughs> no. you for it. I'm just saying you don't realize it sometimes, which yeah. is the point. And it's wrong oh, to I remind sacrifice you. a lot for you. Yeah. Hmm. you What's do? that? Gave up my iced coffee. I mean, <laughs> this is that big. Sharing, he thought. does set this Wasn't all up sharing? every week. It is yeah. sharing. It's not sacrificing. It's sharing. Anyway, Jamie, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so you're a twin. Mm-hmm. Walk yeah. us through that. So if you had my twin here, he would say we are not twins. Can he come? Oh, sure. <laughs> okay, invite him. Go ahead, get him on we, the phone. You want to have a twin special? <laughs> oh, maybe. Because we say we're theory twins because we have the same birthday. Yes, so I do. So we yes. say we're, tw- so he says we're birthday. twins That's not in a thing. theory. <laughs> That's not a thing. Not I know. Thing. I made it up. Well, my brother doesn't even acknowledge our birthday. So I, every uh-huh. year I call and I sing to him. He doesn't ever pick up. Oh. I love my birthday. So like. 30 days before our birthday, I count down and I'm like, Aww. hello, it's my birthday. I'm Which her birthday is the same day as our brother who we can't name his birthday oh. is. So it's coming up. It yeah. is. It's coming up. May yeah. 8th. May 8th. Very nice. Yes, sir. Yep. That's yeah. great. See, the difference with us is Michelle tells me every year it's not really my birthday. That's not So true. she remembers it. She just says... This is this not, is not yours. yours. Yeah. Yeah. Next year. And then we get there. And you know, there is an actual name for people born on the same day. What is it? Astro Twins. Oh. oh. I love it. It's even yeah, better than that. theory. Like Astro Twins. That could be like our superhero name. All right, names. ladies and gentlemen, we're changing the name of this podcast <laughs> to Astro, Astro Twins. Twins. I think that's the name of the episode. That's we not a bad name. First. The Astro Twins? Yeah, it's not a bad name. As Not the Astro Twins, just Astro Twins. Oh, fantastic. Emphasis on ass. That's great. Yeah, I know that's <laughs> right. Um, so you're one of three. It's your twin and then your older sister. My older sister, Michelle. She's a nurse. Uh, oh. And um, so she moved away for college mm-hmm. um, in Pennsylvania, then moved back probably, I don't know, six, seven years ago okay. after her first marriage. Uh-huh. <laughs> and Ditto. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then, um, so she lives in what we call the compound. Listen to this. I love this. So, Go. Okay. Go. It's like a cult. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Exactly. Go. <laughs> so my grandfather, my mother's mom, owns like 30, 20 to 30 acres. And so part of that, they sold off for development. He still owns probably like 15 of that. And so my grandfather is 95, so he gave it, of course, to my parents. So my sister, when she moved back, bought an acre from him. And nice. It, and so she lives behind us. And um, I now live in the house that my mom grew up in. Oh, cool. Which, and then my parents live next door to me. So you're all like a little compound. Oh, that's Aren't we fun. Cute? That yeah. is cute. Not yeah. his, not her brother though. Natural. No, my he brother lives over the has bridge. made sure <laughs> he went from living on Ken Island to even father to Centerville. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. So like farmland. So what's his deal? He just doesn't like to be associated with you guys. <laughs> oh, he likes to see it. to ask him. He would say no. I have no problem with anybody else but you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, sounds like our brother who won't be named. Yeah, yeah, sound like him. <laughs> yeah, he knows how to make me feel like a great twin. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Does he have a family of his own? Oh, he does. He has a great wife. She's a teacher. Uh-huh. And my nephew. Camden. Oh, okay. So they have one child. Yeah, one child. 
marvelous. And you have one child. Two. Two. Yes, two girls. Oh, two girls. Yes. Can I just say that there, I thought it would be easy because I'm a girl. Yeah. No. No. Hell no. Now, how old again? Savannah will be 19 May 29th. Okay. And Olivia turns 17 on Jan- in January. Well, you're aging very well. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. right? Wow, good yeah. for you. She's the same age as Mike. Oh, wow. Good yeah, for you. Yeah. I'll be- Keep it up. Thank you. Keep it up. Thank so I think you. that's why we get along well, like so well, because we're about the same age. I think that. And I think we both look remarkably well for oh, our Me ages. too. There you go. Well. <laughs> <laughs> But we just have the best time in the office. Well, that's good. We'll spend well, hours it's just probably talking. Down, it's still down because of COVID. I mean, it is still down. It gets a little, a little busier, oh, but yeah, like she'll come in and and I feel like two hours later, it's like, well, let's let's go home. My, <laughs> that's my day. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> close <laughs> it up. <laughs> let's close it up. And then so we sit there and we're like, hey, blah blah blah. Let's go get some coffee. And <laughs> now, are like, you in the same say? office in the? Where the the oh, same s- separate she has her own office and i have my own office right I, but I it's know just that. the it's two just of the same us layout. in that same area oh yeah yeah the same area that same area she's in that first office when you walk in uh-huh. and uh-huh. i'm in the second office we've met a lot of michelle's co-workers <laughs> yeah yes. dave all of a lot them. of them all of them most yeah, of them, all yeah. of them. One That's was awesome. a, yeah. One was arrested by the Secret Service. <laughs> yes, she was. Yeah. While she was at work <laughs> did i not tell <laughs> you the story? don't lose names don't use names don't use names yeah that this, was an interesting thing. Could you day. say something about them so I know who it is? Um, <coughs> they had a. I don't want to say yeah. what I wanted to say because I think that would have come out the wrong way. They had but a party. Sh- they had a party on a, a boat, boat for their husband. Yeah. Um, I don't actually know if he would have met. You might not have no. met her. Okay. But at, um, Continue. Parent? Secret yeah. Service. Do you oh, yeah. Have, I mean, it's your story. I'll tell you the story. Sure. So she worked for me. And... I at the time, I was in catering, so I was in the back office where okay. we found the snake. Oh, yeah. We found a snake there, a dead snake. Oh, I thought you meant like a mean guy, like no. a snake. No, it was oh, gross. Okay. So right now, it's uninhabited because we don't have catering, so it's we close the door. But anyway, I was back there. I had a, uh, my one catering person back there and then this person, so... It was a full office, though. Your, yeah. Your whole office had a lot of people. Yeah, my, yeah. and my past sister-in-law oh, was right. the admin so she, she was, was up admin. front right that's who i heard it so from. my other catering person wasn't there so i there was cubicles so i was sitting there working and our gm at the time okay walked in <laughs> well done and behind and i saw them i could just I could see. bleep that out you could just oh, say it sorry it <laughs> <laughs> it's okay that's awesome i saw him i looked over my cubicle and he was coming with two like guys in suits, yeah, you know, and they look just like you would expect Secret Service to look. And they walked in and <laughs> took it. Oh, well, I said his yeah, name. Yeah, you did. <laughs> That's all right. I contact with me and kind of just wide eyed, and he points to this person. Oh, and they say, "Are you blank, blank, blank?" And she said, "Who's asking?" And they said, "Did she get defensive like right away?" Yeah. Uh, Are you she knew. blah? And she still didn't answer. And he said, ma'am, I need you to answer this question. Damn. Yeah, you don't And mess. so oh. she said, yes. And he said, I need you to come up and walk out with me. And then she wasn't getting up. And oh he said, ma'am, God. I can either handcuff you in here or I can take you outside and oh, do I'm it. I'm so glad it wasn't me. And as this is happening, I'm hiding because I think they're going to come <laughs> Good. after you me. You really handled that well. I mean, yeah. true leader. I, I true leader. I hide too. I'd be like, oh, no, no. <laughs> You so they take me. her out. Where's Michelle? She's and on the roof. As they're getting farther from me, I'm like peeking over <laughs> a little bit more. <laughs> and they went out the door, and I ran up to my past sister-in-law and said, "She, I think she's getting arrested. So we're looking out the window. Professional. They took her off, and so then my, the GM came back and said that they came to him because there was some kind of... He, she used to work at another hotel, and she was stealing money. Well, oh, it was credit card lot. fraud. Credit card fraud. So she was stealing credit card numbers. Oh. Wow. Yeah. But then what happened is we found out after she was gone for a few minutes and she was arrested, I said, oh, shit, she's wearing a hotel shirt. She was wearing <laughs> a hotel shirt. Because it's funny. Somebody, I somehow somebody called and said, 
Was somebody from your hotel arrested? I saw them in Yeah, they jail. saw them. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Because they don't let you change, yes. I would imagine. Well, and then we were real nervous. And the next day, I went to the other building, and she showed up. And I just, I don't know. I thought she was going to kill me, so I screamed. Why would she? <laughs> I went, uh, oh! Why would she have killed you? You didn't do anything. Well, I didn't know what she was into. But well, it made a lot of sense. A couple weeks you know before. How much time go she ahead, got? Jamie. Go ahead. I, I was just going to say that that building harbors a lot of yeah. questionables. Well, it was crazy because she I did, did get again. some time, but then they found out she was pregnant. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And it made oh. so much sense because I knew what she got paid. But she was like doing she all was this given, elaborate like, stuff. A birthday party on a she, yacht. And I'm yeah. like, I can't even afford like tickets yeah. for a yacht. We like, showed up. Uh, <laughs> she invited <laughs> Michelle and then Michelle brought all of us. And yeah. so not <laughs> the family. She brought me and, and Well no, but she knew well, Allie. Right. So she and brought her coworkers and I our was chef. An she knew her. One. Yeah. So we went to this yacht which was chartered in downtown Annapolis Very and it was nice. like wow. what what is this? And I remember we got on the yacht and it was like what's going on? Like how was she able yeah. to do this? Like But now we know yeah. she was stealing and credit cards. And the card. secret service got involved because of that. Well, it's a it's a it's a I know it's a felony, obviously. Yeah, but I, I think don't know. It's, it depending on how much money. Service? I and thought that's what the they said. I what? thought he said blah 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 from the Secret Service. But uh-huh. again, I was hiding. There's like a level <laughs> that depending on how much money. It was a lot of money. Yeah, it was a lot of money. Can you imagine okay. if a Barack Obama showed up? <laughs> um, the president, I'm taking you into custody. But that's why, because I think what was happening is she was collecting credit cards from people, but then also doing the groups and siphoning it that way. Which wow. is why I'm always like, we don't charge credit cards in the we office. We don't do anything with yeah. that. Checks and balances. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. weren't PCI. people calling in to the hotels? No, saying... it wasn't our hotel. It was her last hotel? job. Yeah, I think that's how they found out. But she wasn't doing it through your hotel? Not yet, because we didn't have access, because we oh. always kept it yeah. separate. Sorry. Do you know how much time she got? Well, I do remember this. She I remember, was pregnant. Well, I she, when she went to meet the judge, the judge How said do you something. Know this? Fine. I don't. Maybe okay. the judge said something along the lines of, "If you were using this to like pay your bills and stuff, I might have given you right. like, you know, out on bail or whatever or community service. But the fact that you like paid for your whole family to go to Walt Disney World, no." So you're going yeah, to jail. Yeah, I don't know how much because I yeah. kind of yeah. lost like, I mean, track of it. Well, yeah, there's a difference. Like, okay, I, think I it see was she's up. pregnant. Maybe now can't afford yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah, baby yeah. versus I just want a, an extravagant life. I think it was upwards yeah. of like 50, 60, 60,000. But I saw her like in a car a couple of years later, so it wasn't that long. But right. again, well, I She might have gotten out on good behavior. I hit again. Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you didn't do anything. You didn't even know she was doing it. But maybe they would have thought I did. Didn't you do a background check when you hired her? Too. Yeah. Jeez. What? Maybe that. Maybe you should have checked into her before you hired HR her. HR should have. Well. I'll talk to her. We know who she is. you call her references? <laughs> you pick up the, the her references are MasterCard Lynn. Visa. I'll ask Lynn. <laughs> Does this employee um, steal credit cards? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Not yeah, enough. how would you check that? You couldn't you check couldn't, that. You couldn't, unless there was yeah. an open case. Her credit was probably spectacular. <laughs> yeah. She's using everyone else. yeah, that's else's true. credit. Yeah. That's a good point. Oh, Lord. Anyways, so yeah. I never heard that story. crazy. I never oh, heard yeah. that. That's, that's crazy. I thought I was concerned. <laughs> yeah, because at the time, my my ex-wife called, and she's like, so-and-so is getting arrested. I'll call you back. <laughs> that was it. It's <laughs> like, what? I was like, wait, so, what? But then a part of you was like, I knew it, because something didn't add up. Yeah, well, I knew what she's getting paid. What, see, what you just said wasn't really English. I, I knew, knew what she's she- getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> You got really excited there. But Jamie hasn't seen that yet because there hasn't been like a full office for very long. Oh. Yeah. No. And even the building. Like. Yeah. No. So yeah. that'll come back eventually. The craziness. I yeah. mean, will it? Have you guys found that you need that many people? Oh. Uh-oh. Um. Yeah. No. I probably. You need an admin, though. I think we need. We're getting one back. Probably one other. Well, your hotel is pretty popular. I mean, it's centrally located. So I think maybe right now they might be all right, but it's going to get busier because people are going to want to come back. It's going to get crazy. If anything, it might get crazy. Yeah. So I think this year, I think it will just be the three of us. You Um, have to hire that person, though. Oh, no, you already have No, yeah. But I think next year, hopefully, can get one or two back. But it's amazing. All you need is one or two crazies and the stories come. Yeah. 
That's true. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. They hide under the chairs. Even now, with just the limited people, we just. That is true. Stories for days. Really? We people. do. Every yes. single day, there is new people. I mean, guests and other people that work there. They How just like do crazy things, or. You just. It's amazing what people think is, is okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or even just people walking by. Yeah. Just yeah. Outside our windows. Yeah. It's a little berserk sometimes. Yeah, people people are weird. So there's this, and I call him Jamie's friend. He's a homeless man. Oh, good. <laughs> but That's somehow, good. No, no, I don't want to be associated. He ends up with chairs all the time. Like for a week, he had a recliner. Like wicker. Like a recliner. A recliner. Like a wicker wicker recliner. Why is no, it like wicker? a lazy boy. Why are you stuck I don't on know. Wicker. wicker? I don't know. I just think of so wicker. He's know. across from our office to the left, and like the building's not occupied so he's in like oh. the little alcove and reclining sleeping i don't blame him and then th last week it was an office chair like a one that rolls? rolls he was rolling up and down he upgraded was it a recliner's better but he originally started out on our porch oh yeah oh. and he was there for a few days and then he, he got, got in. in the hotel oh, and God. I had left and Jamie was by herself. And I said, you have to you became get him out. That day. No, You're going to open up a room one was, day. He's going to be I in bed. I had to tell him to leave. And I was and he's like, well, I, I was told to say, well, I have my cell phone. So if it calls you any problems, I was like, what? And I had already felt sad for him. So I brought in a big blanket. from my house. So he said, OK, instead of telling this guy to give him a blanket, just leave, give him like, a blanket. I walked out. I walked back in with the blanket. I was like, I'm so sorry. I know it's cold. I was like, here's a blanket, but you can't be here. <laughs> That's fair. And then we don't know how he got in, me. but we found out somebody lost their key, dropped their key, and Agreed. he was using it to get in the building. Oh. And he did it another time. Mm -hmm. Oh, but don't you like turn the keys off? After a certain point, but it might have been like a an master key. Yeah, an oh, maybe. So an he probably was yeah. sleeping in the beds. Maybe he could have been. Maybe could have. Well, luckily we kept finding him on the couch. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but he left us stamps. He oh, did. Oh, we're gonna like say he left a stamp. He's good advertising stamps. for your hotel. <laughs> I don't know what he might have been needing them Come for. Come see the homeless. Well, you know what? That was when we weren't as busy, so the building we were in was pretty much closed. Got it. Yeah. So it was just us. It was. Which, you know. Yeah. Not that much defense with the two of you. No. no, not really. No. You just give out blankets. You don't. <laughs> I did. I mean, you needed it. Yeah, it was well. when it was cold. I felt so sad. Jay, it your, was job, like cold and rain. Has you, your job hasn't changed. Not at all. That's My, crazy. Um, they closed down some of the um, branches of my job. Um, so when the whole thing started, my branch in particular was closed. But then they kind of placed us in different places. So I was actually put in something something called like a financial center where I would go there every day and I was able to access certain things and help out clients and everything like that. And then right next to this financial center is also a branch that didn't close. So if they needed help, I would go over and help them and stuff like that. Okay. But um, but nobody was let go. No one was furloughed. That's nice. Which from is my, good. From my yeah. bank. In fact, they gave... Um, all of their customer-facing employees uh, a twelve a twelve hundred dollar bonus. That's wonderful. Which yeah. they didn't need to do because yeah. we were still getting our paycheck, and everyone got a raise That's last great. year. So wow. they really, I have to say, for my job, they they did a really good job. But the financial center, because everyone that normally would be in the financial center could work from home, I was in the financial center alone. So it's a much bigger building, and it was just me. So I was like, it was like darkness around me and then like a pool of light. <laughs> it's, it was as dramatic as it sounds. I'm sure it's not. <laughs> yeah, but I was, that's why well, I was you working. video called me once and I showed did. me. And I showed you. It was all yeah. deserted. It was kind of cool, though, because, you know, I'd come, I'd be there, I'd get client issues. Uh, my manager would talk to me. We would talk. And then kind of like what you guys are doing now, I'd go in like at 10 and I'd leave at 2. And I we don't work ten to two. We we oh, are. If you're are, listening, <laughs> our day continues. We just don't have that much to do after. Yeah, got it, got it. yeah. I would leave. So yeah, but I mean, I'd still get paid just because there's only so much you can do if you're not constantly seeing. We get clients. checked on sometimes. Yeah. So yeah. Oh really? Yeah. No, no one checked on me. But so Jamie does listen to the podcast since the beginning, and really? it's funny because 
I'll be in my office and I'll hear my voice from her office and she just I is hysterical. Up. You oh like it, right? I love it. So what's your favorite episode so Yeah, far? we can ask that now. I loved the episode with your father. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> well, let me preface it by saying. He's a psychopath, by the yeah. way. <laughs> We're actually looking into committing him. Yeah. You guys are like the, fu- I tell Michelle all the time, it's like, you guys are the funniest people ever. <laughs> Oh, God. And she is hilarious at work. See? Like sometimes I you are funny. Fa- fall out of my chair. So yeah, <laughs> it, it you, makes... what you should know is she's the least funny of yeah, all of, of us. all of us. Yeah. According to mom, she's like a funny sad. Like no, a, mm. no. I mean, I just, <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> like a clown. <laughs> no, Michelle has some. Sad I clown. mean, actually, more often than before. Like throughout, she's gotten funnier. Like she has these one-liners and these zingers that come out of the blue, which are really funny. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes her New York comes out. Yeah. And like last week, I was like, oh, I can't yeah. remember what I said. I can't, but then like the accent, uh-huh. and body language. Was yeah, like, the wow. accent comes out. Yeah. It was so funny though. Yeah. I think funny. it's when we're talking about brides or their moms. They get crazy. Yeah. I think it could they get crazy. Been. Yeah. That's yeah, that does make sense. Yeah. So the one with our father you liked. Yeah. I did. I love your father. You like, like our father. I, I do. I yeah. think he was the funniest. He was just like matter of fact. Yeah, a lot of people j- can just to go with you, um, were were very positive about dad. Even <laughs> and a lot of people were like, What did he say when you guys bleeped? Yeah. I told her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she I kinda it. gave it a bad <laughs> story. It wasn't it, bad. It no. wasn't it's bad. Just, it was just it was. I think it would be triggering. He's unapologetically himself. He's unapologetically, yeah. and, and he see, does I lean. I like that. I think that's yeah. refreshing. He does lean more towards the conservative side, which is his prerogative. But it was definitely. We just need need to and share. Now he's it. got a gun. So. Yeah, now he's got a gun. <laughs> yes, so that's he really went for a gun class. Yeah. He went for a gun. Uh, yeah. Me and my wife paid for the gun class. All right, so. well that's fine. He wanted to learn how to shoot and buy a gun, and he. I don't think he's bought the no, gun. No, no, no. But he went for the classes and everything like that. So, because my father-in-law also went to classes and has bought a gun. With your father? He no, this is separate. separate. Yeah. Okay. Imagine like those a... two together. That could be a yeah. sitcom. <laughs> that would be a sitcom. It's like grumpy old men. They could be in a Lifetime movie. <laughs> Whackadoo. <laughs> Whackadoodle. Whackadoodles. We'll pluralize it. Yeah. Uh, so the one with our dad. Yeah, that was a good one. That was, that was our second one. Third. Second. Yeah, pretty Second. early. Third. Second, yeah. Did you like the one last week with the everybody? Whole family? Yes. Yeah. Was it a I lot? loved the commotion. Okay. I think everybody yeah. got to bring different perspectives. Yeah. Um, and it just sort of was very random and uh-huh. just I liked that. Well, and I think that when I spoke with Chris and Michelle about that specific episode, something that I was thinking that we were going for with that episode was literally like a, an episode about nothing. It was just put the mic in and just see where it goes. And, you know, the fact that my mother was washing dishes is for half of the podcast. <laughs> and, you know, someone would talk and you wouldn't really know what they would say. And yeah. it sort of, I think it really represented what a family dinner is where you have like 12 different conversations going on. And you're like, what did they say? What did they say? Because someone else who listened to the episode was, was like, you know, it was kind of, I loved it. They're like, but it was kind of like, I didn't know what that person said. I'm like, yeah, exactly. That's exactly what we wanted it to do. So, yeah, I think that it just you got to see sort of without seeing the family unit, like how are you guys sort of together, sort of get a picture yeah. of how that works. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I talk about you guys all the time, all but the she's time. never you're the first one she's met. I'm honored because a lot of people haven't come in the office. Like usually, the whole office would have met my family because. Caitlin right. would come yeah, in, mom. But yeah, yeah. at this point, that hasn't really happened. So yeah. she's just hearing the stories. But now you're then, putting yeah. faces, faces, and she'll because I'll say, "Oh, Chris," and she'll be like, "Oh, that one," like because I have a picture, and I'm like, "Yep, <laughs> that, that one." <laughs> what picture do you have of me? Oh, well, I have the one of the six of us from Chris's graduation. That was a good picture. Yeah. She's got that one where you're wearing that orange sleeveless shirt <laughs> and the sunglasses. Wait, but I did show you the picture when he's. Modeling, right? Oh, with and the he's guitar. Got hands around. Yes. Them. Oh, <laughs> oh, the yeah. black one. That's I've the best seen like one. all kinds of pictures. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, hey, I'm proud of that photo. Yeah, so. no, should be. Man, you that good. actually was a modeling ad for the sunglasses, if you can believe that. Interesting. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't I, even I, remember I, I that together. <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah. That was for the sunglasses, but those hands. Hey. Oh, yeah. What are you gonna do? It's 
Good picture. I didn't know if you showed her that other one with me and the guitar with no strings. No, I have to find that. Where is that one? I don't know. It's like your, what do you call it? It's my head. It was my headshot. Headshot. Yeah. No, we create muted. them now. You should redo them. See how how they look. You Maybe. can have Grayson putting his hands around <laughs> <I> you. <should. laughs> <laughs> Given yeah. that crazy look. <laughs> yeah, we should definitely try to do that. Well, that that photo was done in a hotel, I think, and that woman's hands was not there. That was she was someone who's going to her room, and the photographer just asked if she could do that. What? what? Oh. Yeah, she wasn't hired. That was just a stranger She's in the hallway. Was she a homeless? No, she was uh, she was staying there, and the photographer was like, hey, "Ma'am, could you come and do this?" And she was like, Wait. "Okay." And I was like, "So what right. we created? You come to our hotel, we'll find a the random homeless man. stranger <laughs> or the homeless man to put his arms around you." Done. Done. Sh- we'll give him some lotion. But bring Sign him. me up. That's so interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. I don't know if like the photographer thought like the differing skin tones would really like pop, which. Yeah. I think, I mean, it makes, it does kind of have that connection and so, but mm-hmm. yeah, what are you going to do? That's Google it. Google it. Google it. Jason Hands. Jason. <laughs> so did you ever wish you had more siblings? No. Were you always good with you one liked of You like the right amount. Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> she made a face, folks. She made a face. It you wish you were like an only child. You know, it's. it's the, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Tell us. That's interesting. Yeah. So, No. I wish Jamie, you're hiding something. <laughs> okay, here I can tell. <laughs> Go. Safe I, space. I love my sister. I, I think like she's the best big sister. What I wish is like my twin. So you hear all these stories of t- twins connecting. Yeah. Okay. So I have that connection with him. I saved his life twice. Oh. Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. So um the first time was when we were all playing hide and go seek and we were, I don't know, five, six years old and we were playing outside. It was winter and stupidly he went outside to hide. Dummy. Yeah. Dumbass. <laughs> and, <laughs> and back then my parents had a brick patio with brick steps and it was winter and he slipped and fell and hit his head and oh, he was no. at the bottom Ooh. and they were looking, looking, looking. I was like, no, there's something wrong. Like my head hurts that he's outside. I think wow. they're oh. like, no, we are all in here. I was like, no, we are not all in here. Like, oh. go look for him. So you physically felt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. And he broke his wrist another time. Um, and it was like his wrist was all the way up to his knuckles. And oh. I called my mom. I was like, there's something wrong with my brother. Um, and then like two minutes later, he called her and it's like, yeah, I need to go to the hospital, break my wrist. But anyway, Whoa. so long story short with he, they finally opened the door and they couldn't find him. And I went out in front of them and I was like, he's here. And like, he was hit his head and he was oh, like, wow. And stuff. Oh, wow. And then when I was dating my now husband, um, my brother came home from lunch and I was like, what's wrong with you? And he's like, there's nothing wrong with me. He's like, no, there's something wrong with you. You don't feel well. And he's like, I don't feel well. Yes. He's like, but I'm fine. It's like, no, there's something wrong with you. Like, where does your stomach hurt? And he's like, it hurt. I was like, nope, you have an appendicitis. You need to go to the hospital. You just like, knew. I just knew. Like, I just had pains and stuff. And he's like, leave me alone. <laughs> he's like, You're I like just. You're like an X-Man. Right. <laughs> he's like, I just want to lay down. It's my lunchtime. I was like, no, there's something wrong. So I called my mom. She was, works, used to work at Baltimore, Washington Medical Center. Uh-huh. I was like, there's something wrong with Matt. I was like, he needs to come to the hospital. And she's like, what? And she's like, let me talk to him. He's like, mom, leave me alone. I don't feel well. I was like, no, he needs to go to the hospital. And she's like, where is it her? And he's like, well, on my, what is it? Right side or yeah, left yeah, side? Yeah. Anyway. And so we took him. My mom's like, just come in. And his appendix were one hour, they think, out from bursting. Like his, he had to have an emergency appendectomy. That's wow! I remind him heard. every time he's wow. an asshole. But he never that's does that to you. He never. He has See, never. He's ever a jerk. Done. He's, he's probably feeling stuff all the time. Yeah. yeah. That's probably. What I wonder what he's about. feeling right now. <laughs> I hope he's feeling pain. It's no. like a voodoo doll. <laughs> Take that, Matt. <laughs> I'll tell you what. If you were telling this to my one brother, he'd be really freaking out because he doesn't like twins. Oh, Joseph. Yeah. No, no. he doesn't like twins. No. He doesn't trust them. Oh, he doesn't. Oh. He doesn't like midgets. He doesn't like the idea of. Well, you and your brother probably don't look alike. Yeah. But no, identical no. twins. He doesn't like the idea of two same people. people yeah, like it throws yeah. him off. Yeah. He doesn't I, like time travel either. But that's yeah. a whole separate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You said my his name twin, by the way. Yes. Well, 
six feet, six one, dark hair, dark complected. Oh wow! Like he's like the milkman's kid. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I look exactly like my mom. Um, but he he now he looks just like my father. So he grew him to himself. But yeah. So your mom cheated crazy. with the milkman. <laughs> that ended up being my dad. But we can they have that. different fathers. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's weird. They're twins. That, that would yeah, that would be a twist. <laughs> At the same time. I'm sure that's happened. Very I think it ha- has happened. No, I read a story where a woman was pregnant and got pregnant again two weeks later. With the So oh. they're technically twins, but not really. Yeah. Wow. Sp- different eggs. Yeah. So that's what happens with um, fraternal is that it's just two separate eggs dropping yeah. at the same time instead of identical where it's one egg and they split. So you're fraternal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they can't be identical. Yeah, sorry. That's sorry. sorry. That's what my fiance is as well. But this yeah. is so funny to me because in my mind, I always thought twins were like best friends. Like, oh, da, 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 da. But now I know two people who are twins and that's not the not. And it saddens me because like I love him. You want that. I want that. So that's what that face was about. Yeah. Okay. I do want that. Like I miss him like. Not that I would want anything to happen to my sister, but I yeah. think right. that if I ever lost either one of them, hmm. it would be more upsetting for my, me to lose my twin. Right. Then. Well, well it seems uh, yeah. like you have a physical, uh, like, like an empathic connection with him. So uh, the loss of him might actually be. You may feel like you're missing painful. a yeah. part right. of you. Like yeah. a part of That's you is gone. I, might. I, have I wonder if that like happens with Astro fine, twins. Though. I think he would be Astro fine. Twins. I think he'd be like partying. Be like, yay, I don't oh, have that no, headache any no, longer. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> oh, my I God. Would like I, I think we need to bring right him now. on. We yeah. really need to like delve to down yes. deep. What he's feeling delve right now. Delve down deep. What's up, trouble. Matt? He's probably really going to love that we're talking about yeah. him this whole time. <laughs> he's just like <laughs> our brother we won't name. He probably. We've yeah. already named him. You yeah. keep saying that, and then you name him. I didn't. It's Jason. It's always me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But you know what? I did bring that up to you in the car. We were talking about like siblings doing stuff for others. It really bothers me. He doesn't listen. We don't know if he doesn't listen. Mm. I know. Oh, he doesn't listen. He'd call me you and know? say, "Why are you using my name?" Right. Right. Because we <laughs> always there for each other and like just listen an hour. He's a just week. not interested. I'm not interested in him, but yeah, I but- do. <laughs> <this way>. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't interested when he was pretending he was a horse, but yeah, I spent hours giving him a name and a number when he was playing yeah. horse racing. That's yeah. true. It's just oh. how he is. <laughs> okay. He That's, likes what he likes. I mean, he does yeah. have a busy life. Uh, uh, okay. Well. He's on lockdown. <laughs> Where's he going? <laughs> <laughs> I meant like job-wise. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I feel like that could go for anybody, though. Yeah. I think it's- what about Chris? Jamie, <laughs> please. I'm trying to keep the peace. No, she's okay. going to be on my side. That's right. <laughs> Anyways. That's oh. it. I took us. I feel like there's a lot of Matt in, yeah. in Joe. Jason. Yeah. Jesus Damn it. Christ. You just said my name. But <laughs> <laughs> We're allowed to I'm not say. bleeping it. You said it too many times. Yeah. Eh, it's what it is. I mean, it's such a I generic s- name. I still don't know it why is. his Same first like name matters. matters. Exactly. I don't, I, don't I don't understand. Don't know. Well, Jason, do you have any other questions for Jamie? Yeah, what other questions you got? Oh, all right. Let Come me on. think. Um, we were serving up Katie questions left and right. Yeah. I was. Yeah. No, well, in fairness. No, we were. We were. We were. We, um, the two of us. So you said that raising girls you thought was easy because you're a girl. Yeah. So does that mean that you like wanted a boy or no. wanted to? Tr- oh, you don't want no children at all. So <laughs> I'm done with the children. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> two and done. Two and done. Two and done. Yes. Well, but I mean, t- would you prefer? Like, now that you're raising girls, you're like, I bet you boys would be easier. Because yes. we keep hearing that boys are easier. Yeah, so when I got pregnant with my first one, which was a total surprise. Oh, okay. I was like, okay, this is a girl. I just know it because I don't have boys. Oh, my okay. Husband, my, my now husband, at that point, we were boyfriend and girlfriend. Got it, got it, got it. And uh, so he was like, well, what if it's a boy? He's like, it's not. And it's like, it's so we're just going to worry about girl names. You're like and a it superhero. Yeah. I just, like you was just like, no, I just things. don't grow boys. And yeah. then um, a year later, I got pregnant. Surprise. Oh, wow. And, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's and, scary because I don't want to get like, pregnant. And he's like, maybe this yeah. will be. I'm like, no, I don't do boys. I was like, I don't grow boys. It's just girls. Just girls. Just wow. girls. It's like, I feel like it's, it'll be easier for me. I was a girl. These are girls. Like, it'll. No. No. Girls. No. My mom always said that. As younger kids. Boys are harder because they're very rambunctious and throw things around. But she says, like, teenage years 
into young adulthood, she'd rather have boys. Yes, yeah. I can agree a thousand percent. Well, she also said that one of the reasons for that, and dad, maybe, well, maybe it was dad, not mom, but dad said that he worried less about his sons than he does about his daughters. I can see that. I worry 24-7 yeah. about them, yeah. and they're completely different. They are literally like my twin and I. Yeah. Um, I say we're lunar and solar eclipse. Yeah. Um, and Savannah and Olivia are very much like that. Olivia um, is a very, she has a lot of me in her, which God bless. Um, <laughs> yeah. Because I was a difficult teen. Um, and <laughs> very difficult. Ditto. Ditto. <laughs> um, I caused a lot of ruckus. Aha. <laughs> uh-huh. Yep. That was my nickname. Ruckus. Ruckus. Yeah. Oh. Ruckus. Yeah. Um, and then she has this free spirit on top of that. And uh, that is what worries me the most. Got I'm it. Just like, is she um, very trusting? Overly trusting. Yeah. Michelle and I talk about this all the time. Yeah. 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 She, she's a very trusting person with friends. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. And this pandemic has not done been good to her. Yeah. To where she's not been able to connect with a lot of people. So yeah. she just grabs any person. Any person that. And there's some bad grabbing. Assholy grab people. Yeah. Assholy. <laughs> Ass. Yes. Yes. It's been bad, bad for the last year. So finally, I think she sees the bad. Yeah. Um, and it's been in her face enough to I'm like, okay, been there, done that. Let's. But I think that's kind of like you. I was in just going to say that you kind of went through that phase. Yeah. Well, you know, to kind of to kind of touch on that and to you know, like you even said, like yeah. you had yes. a rough adolescence. Let's say. Yes. What was your reason that you had a rough adolescence? Um, because Matt did, wasn't nice to her. Yeah, <laughs> it was all his fault. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I am um, by nature a very stubborn person, Ditto. and I want to be my own person. Uh huh. Um, and so in doing so, I feel like I wanted to explore by myself uh-huh. and try to figure myself out and ex- ignore uh-huh. everything that my parents knowingly knew and be okay. like, mm, F off. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. That uh, rings true. Good night, folks. That's it. <laughs> so <laughs> this is great. They're like the same. Well, it's I, like mean, I'm working I, with I definitely, I connect with what you're saying because from, from my perspective, um, you know, my younger siblings were kind of my younger siblings. So they were always, you know, yeah. I wasn't, you know, they were babies and stuff like that. But my older siblings, we were, I was not like them. Like Michael and Michelle were very, like they were like, I wasn't, well, I'll just say it. They were very respectful and I wasn't. They were very scholastically, you know, yeah, yeah, intelligent. Mm-hmm. And I, I wasn't like that. Like I just wasn't a school person. Quite frankly, I don't think people... Not that I'm not going to blame the teachers necessarily, but I learned a different way. Yes. And they I think it was a different time, too. And they didn't teach they, to that. Yeah. They yes. just basically, because when I had teachers that did take the time, I did very I mean, well. I made the honor roll. Yes. So it was just sort of like I just learned differently. Now, yeah. I'm not faulting them because they had a whole other class to teach, but I learned differently. Yes. And so that made me very frustrated. And so then I just was like, all right, well, fuck you. I'm yes. just going to do whatever the hell I want to do. That is exactly how I well. My my sister straight A is on a roll all the time. My twin, he was a pretty good student as yeah. well. I learn differently as yeah. well. I have to see it and participate uh-huh. in order yeah. to learn. I cannot. Don't just read it to me, and I just can't sit and read well, it. Well, and I can't do our our job. Sometimes has you do these like trainings on the computer. Oh, I'm God. like. I cannot do any of this, so I will fail. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> tell you right now. I, I was always a bad test maker. Yes. Tech-er. So, Sorry. Um, and my, and Olivia is very much like that. Mm. And so her teachers um, have learned that about her, and they actually teach to the way she um, learns. Yeah. And she had she um, is in AP classes. Yeah. And like, look, I raised a smart child. <laughs> well, when <laughs> I, when we moved to Maryland. I had... He moved in his senior year. I moved my senior year. High school. And the curriculum at the high school that I went to was very different than when we were in New York. Okay. And they... I had teachers that, like, would explain it one way, but then would kind of come at me another way. And oh. now, in fairness, I was definitely more focused because I didn't have any friends because yeah. I refused to make friends my <laughs> senior year. So I would go to the... I would go to, to the library. Walking into a lunchroom... For me, it would be my third lunch because I was in three different high schools in four years. Okay. So another lunchroom, I was like, I'm not doing it. I'm not even going. So I just went to the library. So that I'm sure had something to do with it too. But I was able to kind of utilize what the teacher already started on my own from that area. 
So growing up and stuff like that, I was kind of, what's the word? I was kind of like isolated because my parents, just because they had enough on their plate, they were like, all right, Michael and Michelle are sufficient, self-sufficient. They're Can I learning. ask you a question? Go ahead. Do you think because you, we were in the same schools f- through eighth grade? Us. Yeah. Yes. So do you think like the fact that you had Michael and me, very similar students with the same teachers that then you had, yeah. that they were expecting you to be that same way? Oh. And then you weren't. And I think then they just were like, whatever. He's I, just. I think the same thing with, and not whatever necessarily, yeah, but no. our parents. I think hmm. they were just like, well, Michael and Michelle, because our mother even said it like she was like, we had a son and then we had a daughter. So we were having another son. We got this. And then I came out and I was not like them. <laughs> and so I think that they went on a hiatus. They went that. on a hiatus they for six years. It. Yeah. And so <laughs> but at the same time and, you know, this is just the way life works out. But it was just to kind of um, connect with what you're saying. I then started to rebel but it didn't i i wasn't like actively rebelling like i wasn't like i'll show you oh Oh, you were okay (laughs) like i don't think i was but maybe i was like i cut my shorts yeah oh my mom yeah she just you know there wasn't a lot of free-flowing money and so they bought him jeans no they did not buy i bought my own oh so i bought my own it was my money okay that was where the argument came from because i was working at that time I worked at uh, Uncle Bunkle's Toy Box. And so I bought... You got fired from that job. I, I did get fired. Why did you get I, fired? I stole. <laughs> <laughs> no. Right. Yeah. Secret servers are coming. No, yeah. like... No. Uh, I stole, no, like, they, board games and stuff. But I bought these pants, and at the time, I was a sophomore. And I didn't know who the hell I was. So I kind of fell in with kind of a bad group, mm-hmm. and I started to kind of emulate them. Them, Yes. And so they were like wearing cut off jean shorts and all that stuff. Because so, we couldn't take out our summer stuff until a right. certain point. Right. Yes. It was right. packed away. It was, yes. Yeah. Exactly. And so if it got hot, that was it. You had to wear suffer. the pants. You had to yeah. suffer. So I cut my jeans and it just, it didn't go well. And so, but I wasn't like rebelling. I was just like, I, I'm hot. Or like I don't I want to wear what they're wearing, yes. which I feel like is a very normal teen thing. Yeah. Oh, watch it is a normal teen thing. So I can't honestly say I was like, I'll I'm get stick you. It to you. Yeah. 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 I, was like, no. I yeah. mean, I hear what you're saying. My yeah, no, I was not. You were out. You were getting. I it. would hook school. I would go uh, to my boyfriend's house during school. I didn't have I a would... boyfriend. Yeah. Or a girlfriend. Um, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Stay sexual um, at that point. You thought you were a vampire for a while. I did not think I did was a vampire. Did you ever think you were a vampire? No. Nope. Oh. Okay. The group no. I was with thought oh. they were vampires. But maybe you were guilty by association. Oh, I definitely yeah. was guilty by association. If you're yeah. hanging out with vampires. vampires you're vampire. Yeah. yeah. I agree. No, a lot of weird I shit. Would, yeah. I drank. I got drunk. Never. Junior See, I didn't year. do any of that. I, yeah. I No. So when you say you didn't rebel. I, I, no, say, I so did. you really I were did. a bad now, child. I, yes. <laughs> I was. So my husband has made me feel a lot better. And he, and he was like, aren't you glad you got it out then versus. That's true. Because well, you got married young. I, well, and, and yes. Sort younger. Of, 25. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My husband and I met when I was 21. He yeah. was my boss. Nice. Yeah. That's hot. Uh, mm-hmm. Good for you. <laughs> Thanks. I'm sure you got a raise. So but go on. Um, no, I couldn't times. stand him when I first met him. <laughs> and he fell off the curb and I laughed at him. Oh, like physically? Like physically. Oh, wow. And then I was like, you're an asshole. And <laughs> <laughs> because he fell? No. Just, oh. <laughs> just in general. Just in general. Just in general. So I laughed at him um, because I didn't like him and he fell off the curb. So it's like, ha ha. Um, <laughs> And then, what you, and then the rest is history. How yeah, did it change? Nice. He went away for on a vacation for like two weeks. And when he came back, um, he was just a different person. And he was like, nice. And I was at the rest is history. And then we dated for, you know, four years or so. Mm-hmm. And then um, I got pregnant with Savannah when I was 24. Had her. Got and married. he's got older, though. He is older than Yeah. Me. How many? Yes. 15, 15 years. 15 years. So. Yes. Yeah. He does not look it either. I right. keep him young. Oh, yeah. yes. I bet you do. <laughs> well, my wife is eight years younger than I am. Mm-hmm. And she says the same thing when she met me. She met me when I was married. Um, okay. We weren't, we weren't, of nothing course, happened yeah. then. But she didn't like you. She did not like me. See? She thought I was too opinionated. 
Well, it, yes. So she so obviously changed because <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> she laughs though. Sorry, Ash. No, but yeah. We're kind of getting yeah. a stereotype with our guests here. What do you mean? Didn't Katie have a much older husband? Oh, yeah, husband? Katie's oh, yeah. husband's much 15 older. 15 years. Oh. oh so see, I don't, you know what, I think as long as... I don't as think, yeah. Katie, I think people, Jamie, yeah. sort what? of the same. They're not the same <laughs> no. at all. Same syllables, Jamie, Katie. Oh. There's so many names. Oh, I'm just Jason. saying. Jason. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Michelle. <laughs> all right. I don't know why anyone thinks you didn't do well in school. Yeah, yeah. well, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> My Savannah, she she's like my sister. Okay, she Aww. does well in school. Like she could, when they got out, she was a senior when all the lockdown and oh. she, so she had to teach herself basically. Oh no! And um, because you know they were just like yeah, we were Winging done. It. Yeah, yeah. So and she can do that. She can self teach and she can do math in her head and oh god, just bless like her. God. Look at you, like two people. <laughs> math yeah, that's in her great. Head. Who knew yeah, I could raise awesome. smart people? Yeah, good for and, you. Yeah, so. But yeah, and she's very, um, she's just different. So Math and head, that's interesting because kids these days can't do that. No. Like I'll go to a store, not that I pay with cash, but I when I worked in fast food, yeah. like I used to do the drive through which got busy, and I used to be able to just, and I still can, like change in my head. Give the change. But like you go and you pay cash and it's like, Oh, 10, what? And I, or if you give them, like, if it's 10, 51 and you give them like, or no, if it's whatever, and you give them a penny in order to get like just a dollar back or 50 50 cents cents back, back, they're like, this, this isn't right. (laughs) This is too much. (laughs) And I'm like, and I tell them that's how much 50 cents. Well, people don't don't want 49 cents cash anymore. And they're like, uh, and I'm like, just put in the computer. It'll tell you 50 cents. Just do it. (laughs) But that's when math made sense. Yeah, right. Now it's all different. I I don't even know now. Everything's changed. Yeah, they screwed math up. I don't understand how you can. They really mess math up. But is it math like just black and white? It is. Well, numbers are black and white. So I don't understand. Math, I think. eh, I think they just change it just to throw people off. Just to mess you up. (laughs) I'm like, no, no. I like math. Yeah, well, you what? do financial yeah. analysis. I'm a banker. Analyzing. I don't like math. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't like math. math. No. I mean, yeah, I don't. I hate words. That's what I hate. Okay. I love words. Yeah. No, really? I love words. Reading, writing. No. Nah. No, love it. I loved Good. English and history. Yeah. I would love to me write too. essays. And I was like, give me an essay to write any day of the week. And yeah. I was like, yes. See, I liked history, but I, I also, I liked writing, but I'd rather say it. Like, I'm more like, how about I just read like I'll, you should do a podcast. Oh my God, I'm here. <laughs> there's yeah. too much to it. With math, there's just there's it's, an it's right. It's so more you don't straightforward. Like, that, like gray area of like yeah. history or all those details. Yeah, You're yeah, like, yeah. here it is. This is the answer. Yeah. Did you like science? Yeah, but okay. there's some. You math look like you would. I did not like science. No. That's yeah. the Again, one numbers. area I struggled. Like you look like a science guy. Because <laughs> I have glasses. Maybe. <laughs> Well, you know him, so I do know him. <laughs> this is the first time we've met. Um, I wanted to ask you something else. You said something earlier about you're scared every day about like your children and stuff like that. Yes. That really rang true to me because even though obviously I have a little boy, he's you know a baby, so he yeah. can't do anything. But <laughs> I have found how do you deal with that? Because I've a lot of parents and stuff have said the same thing, like you're terrified every day you are and it's just and i feel the same way it's not like i I, i'm afraid it's kind of hard to explain it's almost like something that's with you for the rest of your life yes so well my i it's a couple things for me my oldest um has asperger's and Uh she's bipolar got it so she has had an, um, a difficult life right, just right, right. connecting and just working herself through. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I worry on that level for her. But just in the level of how the world has changed yeah. from when we have grown up, yeah. um, when our parents grew up, and people nowadays don't give a crap. Yeah. And I worry. You know, people don't have people's best interests. People don't care what they say. People don't care what they do. And I worry that... And social media is... Social media is hard. Social media is very hard. And, and FaceTiming and just where everyone yeah. can reach anyone at any Whenever point. Whenever they want. Yes. I feel like that... I worry about that because 
I, I don't want anything to happen to my kids. They're my course, people. Right. Um, and nobody cares if they hurt somebody anymore. They right. don't yeah. take responsibility. Right. So, you know, and even the older they get, you think it would be easier. No. No. It, no I, it, it I think just it, literally it's different. It becomes it's, something well, different. I, and I think each stage. So now Savannah's in college, and I'm like, oh. So this college thing, because that's setting her up for the rest of her life yeah. and her career. So it's like, okay, are we, how are we doing? We're setting yourself, you know, are you completing work? Are you setting yourself up correctly? Yeah. And and then Olivia, I just worry about her 24-7. <laughs> I, have, I have like 10 gray hair that I promised was not there in October. <laughs> and I showed her the other day, like, look. It is not even 50-50, like all of this gray hair in the front. <laughs> it's it's all of you. It's your it's fault. Everyone. Um, and because, I, like I said, she is very much like me, but she's her own person, and she wasn't making great choices. Yeah. Um, and some choices as of late have been more extreme than others. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I worry, has she finally gotten like that – understood the consequence of, of inviting the correct people in and right. not just following the crowd, right, as right, you right, said. Right. Leading you know, the crowd. Yeah, like, are, are do you have enough self-respect right. for yourself that it's so, that you wouldn't invite anyone without that level of respect into your life? Right, right. Um, and teaching her that has been hard. I think she's finally starting to get it. Um, she gravitates to my my husband. Mm-hmm. Um, he is her person. Oh. And, um, you know, so they openly talk. So when I want her to know something, I'm like, <laughs> like you need to say this. <laughs> He's don't. like, that's not what I was saying. Like, I don't care. Figure it out. in your own words, but say it. That's what I want you to say, right? <laughs> and, he, and so, you know, and sometimes she'll know that's coming from me. But it, to me, I don't care as long as she hears what he has to yeah. say. Yeah. Um, and then sometimes he does it his own way. He'll say what I need for him to say, but it'll be his version. But I, I think I'm just scared because the world doesn't care. Yeah. And that's what I worry more about is I feel like as parents and, and aunts and things like that, you know, you want people to see your people. Well, um, no one's going to care about them as much as you do. Yeah. And it's it's honestly, um, and I talk to my mom about it all the time, my dad. It's like an ache that you have for them sometimes. Mm. It's like, oh. Like, are you good or do we need to have a conversation? Like, how are people treating you in this world? And you're just like, what? And it's like, but these are real conversations. But let me ask you this. So it's two kids who said Rebel didn't, mm-hmm. you know, did bad things. Do you, as parents now, ever f- now look back and say, like, feel guilty? Because now no. you know. But now you don't. He's only six months. No. Nope. saying, like, now that you're dealing with that on the parental level, do you ever say, now I know on my parents why, how you know they were that way because of yes. this. Well, feeling. she's probably far. She's, yeah. you're farther along than and I. And I apologize so. to my okay. mom. Right. I th- I've probably apologized to my mom twenty times. There would be some days I just randomly text her like I'm so sorry, and she's like what? And I'm like yeah, just my kids. And she's <laughs> like ha ha. <laughs> but I think it is, and you may find this out. I think uh, now my parents wouldn't agree with me. You know, at least at that point. But I needed to do that, I think, because it has prepared me for <laughs> who Olivia's been because I yeah. can see these things happening a mile away. I'm mm-hmm. like, no, no, this is where you're really – what you're really doing. Yeah. So. And I don't – and I think sort of going with what you were saying, I mean, my parents did the best that they could. I mean, they had – we were all – we outnumbered them. So, I mean, they were, they were pulled in a lot of different directions. Sure. And unfortunately, when that happens, you can't – be everywhere all the time and just because of the way we all kind of fell Mm -hmm. I think I was overlooked and not that they didn't love me or didn't whatever but I was overlooked so it's not something where you know it's 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 a it's a tough day when you find out that your parents are human beings and when you realize that they make mistakes Mm -hmm. and I mean quite frankly during my adolescence I went to therapy I mean, I saw a counselor and some yeah. of the stuff the counselor spoke to me about made me see my parents in different ways as I was growing up. Yes. So it's not so much now that I call and I apologize to them, but I do call um, something that happened recently um, when we took Grayson for his two week appointment. They did the prick of his heel, yes. which was 
excruciating. It, well, I was holding him, and the nurse, it felt like the nurse was cutting his foot mm -hmm. off, and she was taking too long. And so I was holding him, and she was screaming, and Ashley was in front of me, and I guess I was making this face because I was ready to rip her soul and just destroy devour her. Yeah, devour her. Yeah. So when we left, she sat in the back with Grayson, and I got in the front, and I was driving, and I just started crying because oh. all I... Yeah. Uh, what what that triggered for me is he's going to feel pain and I can't do anything about it. Yes. Like this is – and then what happened with that is I thought about my parents losing my brother. And I was like, I can't deal with this. Like I can only imagine – so I called my parents when I got home. I actually FaceTimed with them, and I just started crying with them. Aww. Like, I was just like, I'm so, so I'm getting kind of emotional right now. Um, Jason's going to be the first one to cry. I know. I was just like, I've I can't. Cried. I wanted no. to. Yeah. I don't know if I apologized to them, yeah. but I wanted to say, like, I'm so sorry that you went through that. Yes. Like, I, I don't know how you dealt that and still were able to be our parents. Yeah. 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 So I, that was, yeah, I get that was that. very triggering for me. And I think our, I think as a parent, you want to make sure that they don't experience any pain. But yeah. I also think that that's part of growing up. It yes, and no. it, learning to let them walk through life and uh -huh. have to face that pain. And I've talked to Michelle; mm -hmm. she's my sounding board all the time. Oh, uh, she is like <laughs> she's, she's a good sounding board. She is well, and she's like that mother figure, and she's she is very motherly. And well, but she has great advice. But you know, you have to let them walk through life and have that um that experience so that they know for the next time or what have you because i feel like if we keep taking it away then we're not preparing them well yeah and, and I you think know that. i want to bring something up because you said as an older sibling you said about feeling oh like invisible kind of yeah but i will say and i can't speak for michael because he's in heaven yeah right. well but we hope i i know him well <laughs> enough to know but i feel like there was a little bit of jealousy probably from us because I feel like from you, you were well, you kind of being under the radar because expectations oh, were low. Because I feel it. like to this day, when I do things, I think, well, would would that would dad approve <laughs> of that? <laughs> right, you know, right. or not, not even I mean, like actions, but I'm just saying, like, I feel like it's always kind of there in terms of mm -hmm. growing up the whole time when mm. you're the older, like, yeah. Will this be something they would approve of? What would dad want me to do? Mm -hmm. Should I spend money on this? All. Well, if I told dad, you know, or mom, they might be like, oh, that's silly. You know, like. Oh, and I think that sort but of became you don't have that. part of. Not at all. No. And I don't think I don't anyone know. else would except me or Michael. And I think it was worse for Michael yeah. than even for me. Well, that sort of becomes part of your identity. If like my our father said something once that when he said um, you enjoy that no one was paying attention to you. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, very much. So like, I think you didn't you like that, that now, but uh, now I think for us, it was like, look at this guy. You d at the time, you were like, well, no one's paying attention to me. And, and at first, it's like, oh, no one no one loves me or no one yeah. whatever. But as you grow older, you're like, no one cares what I do. So I'm just going to do whatever. Gonna do whatever. You know, what I, I always tell now. the story with the beach house because I think this really shows how me and Michael were in terms of when What's dad told house? us something, how we listened. So when we went to the beach house, if you remember. She's going to bring up the friggin' towels. No. The screen. Yeah. The screen door on my room. Oh, wouldn't open. OK. It I thought open. you meant when I was in no. bed naked. Oh, no, sorry. No. That's <laughs> weird. <Sorry. Jason>. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway. No, I didn't. No. <laughs> what what you meant? <laughs> so we all went to a beach house and my sliding door <laughs> wouldn't open. So my dad sorry, came down, Jamie. looked at it and he said to me, yeah. It just isn't working, so just don't use it. And I said, okay. So so later that night, there was a bad storm coming. So my brother and Jenny were in the room next door, and we had all our towels out. So again, I feel like being an older sibling, he was like, I should go get these towels so they don't blow. They're mom's towels. So he went out to get them. It was gathering them up, and the rain just started coming yeah, down like sideways. Storm. Wow. So he comes to my screen door <laughs> and says, let me in, let me in. And you said no. And I stood up and said, dad told me not to open the door. And he said, okay. <laughs> and he, went he went back the other way. And when we told the story, my dad was like, thank you. Like, thank you. you that's, that's not what I meant. <laughs> but he's like, anyone else would have just opened the door. Why did you and point at it? me? I wouldn't necessarily have done no, that. But yeah, I feel have. like the yeah. response was like, oh, maybe. not only that 
dad said I shouldn't open it, but also Michael being like, oh yeah, you did. So like not even like open the damn door. Like, well, and I think of the older three, it was you and Michael always answered with yes, but I always, mom said I always answered with why. And that's sort of like, do this, well, why? And it's like, because I said so. (laughs) And it's true. And so I don't, you know, that's just the way it worked out. Yeah. But I found myself understanding. I found myself becoming more like my father as far as like what frustrates me and what what doesn't frustrate me as an older father who yeah. is middle-aged. I think we're running out of time. Are we? We're well over an hour. <gasps> wow. I'm oh, sorry. guys. I'm it's sorry. Jamie. No, hey. It's Jamie's no, fault. It's fine. It's fine. I feel it was good. This it is what really... it is. The conversation kept going. It there kept was no going. breaking point. So there you go, guys. Oh, Jamie. Thanks for having me. So, Jamie, do you have anything else to add? Do you want to plug anything? Plug anything (laughs) to your twin, maybe? (laughs) No. No. Hashtag Matt's a jerk. (laughs) I agree. He felt that. Do you guys have anything to say? Mention? No, I don't even have a dad quote this week. No dad quote. No time. No time. Uh, This is the eighth episode. Ninth. 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 Next episode would be tenth. Three more episodes. Till the end of the first season. Okay. We're hoping to still do the. Oh right, the Woodstock. Woodstock. They're working on the f- season finale, yeah. But what are um, working on. Huh? Getting the people. Getting the people. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That would be All right. Nice. Well, that was a little yeah. more oh, less cool. dramatic. I think we're good. All right. You want to well, sing a song? Thank, thank you, you Jamie. For listening. Thank you yeah, thanks, so much. Jamie. I appreciate it. Jason, thank you sing for the listening outro. to the Middle Legion podcast. <laughs> we'll let you know. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye. <laughs> Once again, thank you guys for sticking around and listening to this whole podcast. Uh, we plan on releasing these on a weekly basis, so please come back. Be sure to follow wherever you are listening. We also have a YouTube channel, The Middle Aging Podcast, and you can follow us on Twitter at middle underscore aging. And in the future, there is potential for us to start live streaming these, so we will keep you in touch there. And then if for any other reason you need to contact us, you can reach us at middleaging1 at gmail.com, middleagingpodcast1 at gmail.com. Once again, thank you guys and keep on listening.